guys, Nickelodeon here, Nickelodeon's Gaming Channel. Um, welcome back to another day of leveling here. Tomorrow is, oh no, never mind. By the time you see this, it'll already be Wednesday, so never mind. <laughs> so say tomorrow the servers will be down, but they won't be. Alright, so let's go ahead and jump back in here. Oh, let me plug my headset back in. Darn it. Alright, there we go. So, yeah. Alright, so what are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? Let's see here. We are killing Meyer Hydras. That's right. We were having an issue yesterday because, or day before, well, yesterday would be yesterday for you anyway. Um, sorry, I got to use this whole, I'm recording a day ahead of a time, so I got to use to <laughs> how to address the time difference. So, all right, killing Umberfin, or killing Meyer Hydras. We need six more. It looks like we still got people hanging out around here. Damn. So let's go ahead and get this one here. That'll be all us. Frickin' Okay, well apparently I attracted a bunch of stuff. So I'm a I'm an attractor grand eye, so I gotta kill off some of these things. Christ. Alright, so we got him down. There's already my hydra's dead, so we still need five more. Let's get him up on the coast here. Yeah, we had a quite the string of bad luck yesterday as far as um, there was just a ton of people on and completing quests was really difficult but it looks like it's kind of mellowed out today because it is while I'm recording this it is Monday so everybody had to go back to work and when I was recording the other one it was Sunday so that's probably why it was so hectic but I've been using the Zyger Guide uh, gold add-on and I have been making a s copious amounts of cash and I'm so excited. I'm glad I was able to share that with you guys on exactly how that's done. Um, I started that character with 50 gold. I'm up to almost 5,000 gold now. And I've, that character has done nothing but um, buy stuff low in the auction house and sell it high. Now the stuff that comes back, like if it's, uh, especially when I'm sending gear from like other characters to him, and I'm going to put it in the auction house. I, I generally sell that stuff off. I don't... Like if I put it in once. If it comes straight back, then it goes right to the vendor. I don't even mess with it. Like, especially when it's grossly overpriced, like, you know, some level 10 boots for 174 gold. Eh, nobody's going to buy that, so... It just goes right to the vendor, and I'm done with it. I mean, it's level 10. If I mean, obviously, if somebody wants to farm it, for them to just go to a level 10, like, Rage Fire Chasm or whatever, and just run it themselves, they could. So... But now it looks like we're headed back to Telrador. We've got a bunch to turn in, and probably even more to pick up, so. But yeah, I don't, if it comes if it comes back, I just throw it right into the vendor. I don't even mess with it. And now what surprises me, now granted it doesn't sell for a lot, but it always sells, is low-level meat, like boar ribs and uh, wolf, lean wolf steaks. Those sell every time I put them in the auction. It's not, like I said, they don't sell for a lot. You know, a couple gold for, you know, like 20 or 30. But they always sell. Never fails. Easy to get. You just go to, um, well, if you're Alliance, you just go down to the farm. Um, I can't, the Molson Farm down south of Goldshire. And if you're a monk like me, you'll just start throwing barrels and grouping up all the pigs and dropping them. And they'll just drop all kinds of freaking meat. And you just pick it up and take it to the auction. It always sells. And I don't understand why. All right, so we're going to turn in an unnatural drought. We'll grab a belt here, which is going to be a good upgrade for us. And yes, we're using BOAs, but it'll still be a good upgrade. So pick up, drop off to Ruam. Or we're going to pick up Withered Flesh. We must determine how far the damage is spread. The Basidium you brought me comes from a bog giant. Their larger, hardier cousins, the bog lords, should prove to be more resistant to the generation that struck the giants. It would be good to know how the changes in the dead mire have affected the other creatures out there, too. Return to the dead mire and see if you can get samples from the bog lords and the hydra in that area. So that's where we're killing the hydras in that area. And your hardships. I was mistaken with the quests. Okay, so we're turning into Norani. Greetings, friend. We're going to turn into Halrun. We're going to pick up Diaphaneous Wings, or Diaphanous Wings. Living in such a remote location has taught us make use of everything available. Of course, you have to learn to stop thinking about where some of these materials come from first. I have found that the wings of the Umberglow Stingers are very helpful for waterproofing. They're strong, thin, and flexible. Halran chuckles. I see a look on your face. Like I said, it takes time to use the idea. If you're going to be out and about, would you mind bringing me some of the wings? Sure thing. 
All right, so we're going to go grab some parched hydra samples. As we're heading back over here to the, the mire where we were at killing the bog lords earlier. So we're gonna pick. We're gonna drop some more of those guys. Um, we're also gonna get these Boglord tendrils. They'll be for a quest later on. We're gonna need them for. We'll just. And it'll be nice to have them because then we just turn them in. That's the one nice thing about the Zyre guides. It'll tell you, you know, hey, if you've picked this stuff up, hold on to it because you're gonna need it. I mean, I don't know if we'll actually get that far because um, we're pretty pretty far through the the area so far. We're looking for the big guys, the big withered bog lords, and the, the, the hydras here. So let's just get started, shall we? I love that it says, he'll prove to be more resistant to the drought, but kill them anyway. Withered giants. I need bog lord samples. I don't know why I can't remember that. So let's go ahead and get some of these hydras since they're here. There's a few of them. But it's made them crazy. It's made them crazy. I wouldn't throw it at him because I don't want him running off on me too far. There's one hypo, Hydra. And you notice I had to kill two to get one, so it's going to cost me about ten Hydras on the average, it seems like, to get all of the meats that I need. Let's fly up here. There's another Bog Lord. Hmm. Yeah, you gonna stomp, dude? I can stomp too. Don't do that, bro. Don't tease me, bro. Don't tease me. Got the withered bog lord sample finally. So it took me three to get one, so yeah, it's gonna take me a few. I know this. Guess another nothing. <laughs> Uh, let's see, look around, see what we got here. Got some more hydras. We're gonna scoop up some more of those guys in the bog right there, too. We'll go ahead and hook an axe at him. Maybe. Maybe. There we go. Kill that guy. Nothing. That guy, nothing. Lots of nothing. I guess three. It's good. There's a rush. It's two. I don't want to herbalize these guys. Yeah, I don't want. I don't want to do that though. I'm all yawny faces from around. I don't understand. We got crap, so moving on. Moving on. Oh man, I can't stop yelling. What the hell? All right, so we got two bog lords here. We're gonna aggro face face pull this one. I don't know. Remote aggro the other guy with hitting him with an axe. Come on, yo. Oh man. So many. Good damn it. I don't need to yawn on camera so much. I don't even know why I'm yawning. It's crazy. Sorry about that. Goodness. A big tickle in my throat. It seems like the hydras are being more fortuitous with their drops. So let's go ahead and keep working on those guys. And I'm thinking about doing some, maybe uh, doing a few machinimas. I, I don't know exactly sure how to do those. Um, I think, you know, you just have to set up a storyboard. What story did you want to tell? And then, you know, fill in using the using wow the stuff you're trying to get 
So I don't know. I think I'm, I got to think of an idea for a machinima, and then I might. I think I might try to film one. I haven't decided yet. But it's something I think I would like to try. Because I watch all these machinimas from Nixium, and they're just hilarious, man. Just friggin' hilarious. Come on, frickin' Hydra samples. Jesus. Cheese and rice, man. Cheese and rice. Alright. There we go. Got all those. Now I just need a Bog Lord sample and another Tendril, and we're good. Now I think we got about four of these probably from doing killing these smaller guys. So we're, we're not going to, you know, pull our punches. We're going to take care of all these guys here. And I got my last tendril. I still got my last block one sample. Let's go find some more bog lords. I'm going to take a flight. Yeah, I think the bog lord tendrils actually drop off the smaller bog guys. These bog, these withered giants. Even though it, it sounds counterintuitive, I know, but... It's a bog lord tendril, but it drops off a bog giant. There we go. All right, so it's some diaphanous wings or diaphanous wings. Get some diaphanous wings. Let's turn off my uh, preview here. Save some, save some processing power. So we get some diaphanous wings, and these are just the uh, umbergo stingers that we're gonna be picking up. And I think they're like they look like wasp. Hmm. Sorry about that. Good God. Alright, so we're looking for some wasp, yellow, glowy wasp type creatures. So keep my eyes peeled here. Just my camera angle. I don't know why it was so close. Let's see, diaphanous wings. So just now came in into the area. Spore bats. No, my luck, there's probably somebody here doing the exact same quest. That would just be my luck. There are these islands. Now, like I said, in a lot of my other videos about uh, this little blue aura, yeah, it's a good guide, you know, guidepost, but it's not in stone, you know, this is it, this is all there is. I found a lot of creatures outside of those. Crap. I was really hoping for one, too. Darn it. These scavenging quests just drive me nuts, especially when the drop rates are atrocious. You, know, you gotta fly around, find the creature, kill 15 of them, pray to God that one of them drops what you're looking for. Not these guys. These guys are saying, no way, give me a big F you. I got one, yay! So I'm just gonna fly around here, check out these different little ponds of blue. Let's see if we can look up. Oh, there's one. Yeah. Eh, nothing. Search so hard for nothing. Keep smashing these guys down. There's not as many as you'd think there would be. Uh, excuse me. Uh, I keep saying excuse me a lot today. So, nothing here. Oh, there's one. That's two out of eight. We've killed, what, six or seven of those damn things? Yeah, I hate the drop rate on these. It's atrocious. I mean, they have two wings, for God's sake. You can clearly see them. They're right there. Oh, I hate that one. Victory Rich wears off right at the very last second. There's three. Fly over here to this little spot. Just 
just show that one. It's cute. Give me more wings, you sons of bitches. Boosting her. Do, do, do. Still looking for bees. I need to kill bees. Those bees do not please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We all know you don't like me. I got it. Well, I'm hoping to finish this quest today. That'd be nice. Do, do, do. Oh, good. They're starting to respawn. Yummy. Uh, not that one. Get this one here. It's four. We're halfway there, guys. Halfway there. We're medio. Halfway. Oh, look. Two. I might get lucky. Or three. Oh, shit. Lady Luck is smiling on me today. Smack you, smack you. Nothing. <laughs> Show one of this guy here, I'll smack him too. There's another one, oh my god. So excited. Hop over there, get him. Oh shoot, there's another two. Taking these guys down. Oh, I'm almost there. What do you know? Alright, let's keep going out this way. I finish out this little. Oh, we got the thing. Made a good choice. There's three right here. I see. And there's one over here to the right, too, or to the left of me. I think we're doing all right. I just need two more. Not that one. Come on. There you go. Uno mas, por favor. <laughs> All right. Let's go turn this stuff in. Yeah, it's pretty good timing, too. I have to get up on these high mushrooms here. Oh, no, I thought it was that big one. My bad. I don't need to ride the elevator. Skip that part. So I think we're going to turn these in, and that's going to be it for today. Sorry, there's so much boring stuff today. Not really, not really too, uh, not, much, not too much happening. Alright, how run. Turn that crap in. Alright, now. Tomorrow, we're going to go ahead and finish up the Serpent Lake ones. We're going to put the seeds here and stuff like that. So, I'm going to go ahead and log out here. Actually, I'm going to go into the end. So, I can get some of that rested XP for tomorrow. And this is Nickelodeon. And thanking you for joining me today, watching my video. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed, a thumbs down if you didn't. Any questions, comments, or concerns in the section below. Um, I really appreciate it if you smash that subscribe button if you enjoyed what you saw. Again, Nickelodeon, have a great day, and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.